The sun always rises. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rare here, and today we're gonna play some mid lane Karthus. Oh my god, he looks so cool! Dude, look at this, look at, look at this. I can't even get the keyboard straight. Oh my god, Phantom Karthus looks so cool! Oh man, he looks so awesome. Okay, well, let's uh, not waste any time here. We're gonna be against an Orianna. So we're gonna go ahead and get a Doran's Bring two potions and trinket. Let's see what else he's got going on here. Damn, it's kind of creepy. And then more of a pentakill thing than anything, I guess. Eh, not super feeling the dance. Not super feeling it. Oh, that laugh though. I'm feeling the laugh. He freaking floats. Oh God. New Kurt, this is so swank. No, oh, that's a wank. That's a different terminology. There we go. Oh man, this is so swank. This laugh. God, it's awesome. I love the laugh. Love the laugh. Big points to write. Love, 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 love the laugh. All right, so nothing has actually changed with Karthus in his kit. It's just a visual rework for those of you guys wondering. But man, does he look cool! This is Phantom Karthus, which was my favorite skin back in the day because no one ever used it, and I felt kind of special. And he looks freaking badass now, dude. Phantom Karthus just got way cooler, in my opinion. Oh my God, so cool looking! Lay Waste looks awesome. I'm sure the wall will look awesome. Even Oriana's ball is impressed, and I'll take that as a compliment. So thank you, Ori Ball. Ooh, that auto attack though, still pretty slow. Still pretty, uh, pretty delayed. Gonna have to get used to that. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't like just cast it. Interesting. Oh God, Lay Waste looks so cool. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh god, and the indicator's way better. Just oh, love, love. Riot, so good. Great job. Truly wonderful job. So good. All right, well, I will quit uh completely nerd nerding out over uh the Karthus changes here. For the most part anyway. That did quite a lot of damage. That hurt. I probably shouldn't let her do that to me. And actually pay attention to the ball. That would be a good idea. But this is me we're talking about. Paying attention, not on the menu. The one thing I do find that funny is uh, the Warwick's name is uh, Lee is my name. And then there's a Lee Sin top lane. So I'm kind of wondering if his lane got jacked from him. Or rather if his character got jacked from him. So we're going to go ahead and skip on the wall of pain for a second here. Just to get an upgraded Q sooner. Because that lets us CS and uh, not necessarily fully uh, avoid the ball, but as you can see, Ori is almost out of mana already. So I'll be able to exploit that to my own advantage soon. Exploit that the Karthus' ends, if you will. As you can see, she doesn't have enough mana to properly dissonance, so uh, we should be okay. We'll go ahead and pick up one point in the wall here, just in case of uh, Warwick ganks or something. Because that'd be a little awkward. Oh, so cool! I love it. So I'm gonna do my best to win lane. Uh, not sure if I'll really be able to necessarily, just because it is an Oriana, and Oriana is pretty good. Uh, if you didn't watch my Ori video, uh, I would recommend it. I think it was a pretty fun game to enjoy. Not that I'm like super trying to plug my own video or anything, but I don't know. I just I thought it was a really fun video. So if you haven't watched it, I recommend it. But uh, there will be first blood in the bot lane against Thresh for the uh, misfortune there. How fortunate for her. Ho ho, ho ho, ho ho. I'll stop now. Oh my God, this looks so cool. Look at this. You can't tell me this doesn't look so cool. Oh my God. 
So I just saw earlier today on the internet that someone was designing a Freyord uh, Karthus where he has like an ice storm around him and ice uh, like comes up and stabs people out of the ground with your Q. And like when you alt people, there's like a giant wall of deathly ice around them. Oh, it just looked like such a cool idea. Such a cool idea. This skin is so baller. This visual update is so baller. Honestly. Riot has outdone themselves. The voice acting is awesome. Seriously. Oh, that laugh! It's so good! I, I just have to give massive, massive kudos to uh, the team who worked on this visual update. Not that they'll probably ever watch this video, but just kudos to them, because dang, man, they really outdid themselves this time. So 34 CS so far to 34. Uh, we're actually even. Imagine that. I haven't been harassing her too hard, but that's not really my goal either. I'm just as content to sit back and farm. Uh, in late game, Orianna getting farm is probably going to be more effective than Karthus getting farm, just because Orianna uh, naturally hits pretty gosh darn hard. Put up the wall. Oh, force some summoners. That's good. Oh, missed that card, though. That's not good. Well, if I'd got six sooner, I probably could have ulted for a kill there. Ooh, she didn't back. That could be a big mistake. Well, I can't kill her right this second, but if I regenerate some mana, then I can. Let's see if her ball goes back. If her ball goes back to her, then I know she's backing. Okay, so yeah, she's probably backing, because we just saw the ball disappear. Which means she had to walk out of ball range. The nice part about your Q is you can just do it, and if you kill something with it, you basically get almost all the mana back, which is pretty swanky. It's one of the big reasons why I really enjoy playing Karthus, actually. So, not a cart wave here, and uh, Warwick is very likely to be 6. I'm a little low on mana. So, uh, after we clear out this wave, we're probably going to head back to base. Oh, missed all those melee minions. That's a little unfortunate on my part. Kind of overestimated the damage that uh, Defile would do. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So we'll just go back. Oh yeah, the back animation. I forgot. Let's watch that too. So he's just reading through his book and then he just... Peace out, bro. Fair enough. Fair enough, Karthus. So we'll go ahead and get a tier first. I'm going to kind of play this like I play Rise. Uh, in where I go for kind of an early uh, tier than Catalyst build. It's not as effective as just rushing Rod of Ages, obviously. But uh, I feel having the tier will be worth it, if only because it lets us spam spells to uh, farm in lane. So, pretty content with that overall. And we'll see, uh, yeah, Orion will pick up a Chalice of Harmony and a second Dorans. That makes a lot of sense, because, you know, Karthus can easily poke overall. And uh, that just, just makes a lot of sense to me that she would go for that additional magic resistance. So, if Lee does get low here, have all will KS. And we'll, we'll just have to see if they get that Lee in a little bit lower. Because if they do, then uh, I will definitely alt in an attempt to uh, get a kill here. Nope, didn't even need to. That's fine. Gonna alt bot lane now. Oh. Oh, he says stuff now. Interesting. Well, we missed that, but we'll try and catch it next time. Cool sound off that. Interesting. Very interesting. If you had shocked me right there, I probably would have died, by the way. I will admit that. So we're gonna have to go ahead and pop both health potions here, just to be a little more, a little more careful. Kind of sucky we didn't get either assist there, but it happens. Oh well, there's the shockwave. Ori ult on T. Cool down. Uh, I shouldn't have been typing. I could have dodged that if I was moving. Oh well, that's okay. Gotta respect the dissonance cooldown here. Don't wanna get caught by it if at all possible. Like that. <laughs> Welp. Welp, welp, welp. Not what I wanted. Oh, still gonna miss the cart. Damn, that really sucks. Well, we get at least one there. Ooh, or you're gonna take some tower shots here. I could go for like a flash play if she doesn't kill me with the ball. Okay, ball's on cooldown. But I gotta watch out for the E also, where she calls it back to her. Because uh, that could just as easily kill me. This is kind of a, a game of uh, chicken, really, of who's who's willing to do something stupid first. Like that. 
Okay, I think we'll just go back. We'll, we'll contend ourselves on picking up a uh, catalyst here, because we do have enough for catalysts. So we'll go back catalyst and get a couple wards. We are going to have to go back first, so we will lose out on some experience overall. But hey, look, there's Warwick, so I don't regret that decision at all. Uh, at least might want to be a little careful there, sweetheart. Ooh, she's just going to straight go for it. I like it. Nice, Elise. Good play. Very, very ballsy. I like that. Nice play. Going right by the Warwick, not giving a sweet fuck. Uh, I think this... Yeah, he just killed himself. Well, uh, if they go for the tower, I can probably stop them. At least it's pushing mid a little bit anyway, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but... There's no sense in wasting all this delicious bot lane farm if I can help it. So, we'll just start queuing. And a 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 queuing. And there you go. So, we'll get at least some of that CS there. Elise coming around. Uh, nope, just counter jungling for now. That's okay. Don't need her to do much more than that. I also don't want to shove out uh, bot lane without at least like you know giving consideration uh to the graves and the thresh if i were to just straight up shove their lave that really or lave wave that really wouldn't help their situation very much so i won't do that oh yeah the free q for a nice red buff let them know i'm coming mid here so Ori's just going to run for it, and she'll probably get get away at least temporarily just because I don't have boots. Uh, we'll see if this Elise wants to go for it, and she is going to go for it, so uh, it's going to take me a while to get there, unfortunately, just because Lee Sin is going to rotate over as well. Well, that was a nice safety for me. I'll get out okay. Oh, can we just kill him? Oh, yep, we will get a kill. Drop the wall. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, baby. Alright, well, we'll Requiem here. Behold your undoing, is what he says. Wee 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 wee. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind dying there. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I really want to rush Rod of Ages still, because I think I can still have a, a pretty viable one. Uh, the bot lane should probably not engage as hard, though. Okay, well, you know, at least Thresh will pick up the shutdown. I mean, he'll die for it, but he at least got shutdown gold, so it could be worse. Um, I should probably pick up Boots. As much as I want to rush uh, the straight Rod of Ages, picking up Boots is sensible, uh, just because it will be necessary in the long run. So we are definitely behind. Uh, bot lane probably needs most focus, at least. If you can manage doing so. Time for the help at mid. You can have what? I don't really need the blue just because I already have a tier and a catalyst. So, uh, my mana regeneration just overall is pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with it. Like, I can leave on a Defile like that, and for the most part, just be successful. Ooh. He even says, rest in pieces. Or, rest in peace. I wish he said, like, rest in pieces or Ripperoni or something. If there was, like, a joke Karthus skin, that'd be pretty funny. Ripperino. That's what Karthus should say. So, your ult is still incredibly long. Nothing new there. So, it might have not been worth it for me to use it while dead. But uh, I was under the possibility of a guise of Irelia, um, you know, maybe making a play on Warwick. You never know. It's certainly possible. Oh, don't deny me that CS. Okay, well, Lisa's looking for a lantern here. And uh, maybe they'll make something happen. Or they'll lantern themselves and force a flash or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It's okay. So I'm going to kill all the back lane while I can, because there's nothing uh, really coming at me for the back lane. Oh, nope. Got a piece out here. So we're probably dead. Yep, we're dead. He forced flash, though, so. Cute. Cute. 
Oh, one more Q and I would have killed him. He wasn't even paying attention. No flash on Warwick. So bot lane seems... Uh, I mean, they got a double, but they lost Thresh. I don't think Graves died there. I want to say he lived, so that wasn't bad. One for one. Or, or rather, one for two. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's really awkward that we don't have enough for... Um, do, 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 Rod of Ages. That's definitely awkward. And I really wanted to kill that Warwick. So bummed that I didn't. Maybe if I had ignited him. Uh, actually, definitely if I had ignited him. But then he probably would have reacted sooner. I don't know. It's a toss-up. That was just weird. I don't know why he let me hit him with so many cues. But 2-2-1. Uh, two, two and one. I died to a Flash Warwick ult followed up by an Ori Shockwave. Like, I really can't get upset that I died there. That's basically a death sentence. Get it? Death sentence. Thresh. Karthus. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Karthus is from the Shadow Isles, by the way. If you didn't know that. Same place as Thresh. It's in the lore. You should go read the lore. Lore is fun to read. Reading is fun, kids. Just saying. Now, Gordon Ramsay might tell you differently, because Gordon Ramsay hates reading. But that will be his undoing one day. Because personally, I love reading. Alright, well, we'll keep on queuing the minions and the ore. Oh, she'll speed herself up with a dissonance there. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that, really. Now, hopefully, they're not just going to get dived and die. Oh, yeah, no, they're totally going to get dived and die. 100%. It's going to happen. Good job by Elise. Missed that. That's awkward. Wish I'd got that cart there. Kind of messed up. I do have enough for Rod. I kind of want to go back for it. But at the same time, I probably shouldn't go back for it. Yeah, Lee Sin's getting a little upset that he's getting camped by a jungler. That shouldn't come as a surprise. Oh, okay. I got baited there. I'm going to die. Well, we'll Requiem. This should get me a kill. Yep. All right. One for one. That's fine. And Rod of Ages. And uh, Sork Boots as well. So that's not... I mean, that's not terrible. One for one. I'll take it. Warwick is going to get Dragon just because I am dead. But, eh. It is what it is. I probably wouldn't take on that Misfortune in a two-on-two -two scenario just because she does have uh, a bit of an edge over this Graves. Ooh, Warwick all is available. I gotta be careful. They can go for a, a steal, though. Okay, well, we messed that up. No steal for us. Alt's on cooldown, so I can't really help out this Elise very much. Ooh, nice! Nice! That was a pretty swaggy flash onto the lantern there. Good escape. I can appreciate small things like that. So pretty close game so far. 11 and 2. I'm 3, 3 and 1. Uh, not fantastic just because, you know, I mean, you would prefer not to die on Karthus naturally, but it just happens sometimes when you're trading. I got baited into tower. I openly admit that. So it's fine. Not the end of the world. Requiem, however, has not been very useful for the team. That is one thing I should uh, definitely try and be do better next time. I just haven't been really very effective overall. I, why did I just stand on the ball? Why did I just do that? Why did I just stand on the ball? The thing that I know is going to most definitely hit me at some point. Also, I love how she's like, okay, I'll camp top more, and then she totally just completely pwns zones. <laughs> this Lee Sin. <laughs> well, this Lee Sin's taking it in good spirits anyway, so good for him. Good for him. All right, well, Oriana will uh, go ahead and throw a quick word there. I think she was just wondering if I was trying to set something up or uh, whatever, so. I'd rather at least have it, honestly. And I'll tell you why. Because uh, it'll lower her cooldowns, especially on uh, Cocoon. And that makes it more effective for her to gank and uh, assist both top and bot lane. So I am A-OK -okay with donating the blue. I really don't need it on Karthus, because uh, I don't need to spam to file. Like, if I had it, I could spam to file. There, there's a lot to be said for that. But at the same time, by not spamming to file, and the fact that Oriana and I both have good wave clear, the lane is essentially just staying in the middle, which, for us, isn't a bad thing, if you think about it. 
All right, well, we're just gonna do some a little. Oh wow, that hit harder than I thought it was going to. Well, I had to flash for it, but I think that's worth it. Didn't want to waste my ult there. Oh, holy crap! Yeah, that that was a thing. Oh my goodness, we barely got out of there. Holy moly! Wow, <laughs> that was uh, that was a little intense. That was camping right there. Get it? Intense camping. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, well, they're gonna take that red. I really can't stop it. I don't know why, uh, such naughty words. Oh, pff, that white denial. Well, let's see if I can follow. Okay, he warded over. So, maybe he'll be right here. Nope, never mind. There he is. He pieced out. Good play by Lee. Nice, uh, ward hop there. I'm guessing it was a ward hop anyway. More than likely. Be surprised if, if it wasn't. Let's put it that way. So, we'll just Q and uh, pick up these minions. Um, I have some options here for what do I want to build next. But I really feel like just going straight damage is probably going to be the right call. I could go lifesteal, or uh, spell vamp rather, sorry, uh, via, you know, a hextech. And that might not necessarily be a bad idea. But at the same token, I feel like going uh, for a zonias would be a very uh, wise option. That's how I'll word that. I should be able to kill Misfortune here. Yep, nice, and I got blue out of it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm a okay with that, and I get an assist. Awesome. Well, now we're just gonna spam because now I have blue buff. So I don't give a fuck. Gonna spam my spells for days and not walk on the ball because that'd be stupid. There's a thing called dissonance. I'm not gonna do that this time. Oh, look, that's an Irelia coming at you. Coming at you, girl! Well, I'm probably dead. Yep, oh, yep, I'm dead. And I had wall on cooldown, so not much I could really do there to help. I can't get in Q range, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, okay, so I got an assist. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, Void Staff. Oh, it's so tempting. It's so, so very tempting to go for Void Staff, but I feel like going for Zonius is just going to be smarter. I will resist the urge, and what a mighty urge it is to go Void Staff, but I will resist the calling uh, to instead take the wiser and uh, probably more safe option of Zonius overall. But man, as soon as I finish Zonius, I'm going straight Wombo Combo damage, because this new Karthus is just so inspiring. Oh, it's great. I love his voice acting so much. I hope I have the volume up high enough that you guys can hear this. I apologize if you can't hear it at all. I should probably turn up the game sound a little bit, but I'm not going to do it mid-video just because maybe it's fine, maybe it's not. It's been a while since I really paid attention to uh, the actual game levels themselves. Oh, nope, don't want to be here, especially since that wall of paint just missed, which is really awkward. Probably going to lose my tower. Confirming, going to lose my tower. That's a little saddening, but that's okay. I mean, it's 23 minutes into the game. Such things should not be uh, surprising. Oriana is rotating over to the Elise. See if I can get there. And oh, nice. God, this oh, dude. This freaking Elise knows what's up, dude. For real. Like, I know she died there, but still. Like, kudos to her. She's got good plays. Warwick, please let me kill your team. Woof. Okay, well, nice part is it's pretty easy to uh, overall get CS now on Zekarthos. Just because I do have a fair amount of ability power. Nice job, Irelia. A little less nice job to Graves. Kind of overextended there. Uh, he's a little far behind to be going out that far uh, without any real uh, support or, you know, increased vision or anything of that nature. A uh, good blind hook attempt. I really don't want to do Dragon. Uh, cause he'll burn me and I don't have, you know, any spell vamp and yada 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 and he does damage and yada yada yada. Alright, this should be an easy kill here. Yeah, this will be an easy kill. Yep, that's good. 
Thank you, Karthus. Or, thank you, Karthus. I'm Karthus. Thank you to my friend Thresh. A fellow Shadow Isles compatriot. We must work together in unison to create beautiful harmony. Because apparently Karthus is all about music, man. That's just his jam. He gets down. He gets funky. How far can this go? Ooh, I don't know if I want to go in that. I don't know if I want to go in that, man. Oh, that's why. I'm dead. Yep, that's awkward. Well, I chunked the heck out of Warwick. That's nice. But uh, I'll have Zonia's here, so that'll help. Not sure they want to really fight this, considering Lee's right there, and that Warwick has crazy lifesteal via Wit's End. Oh, nice! The pickup kill, though. Not awful. Uh, Graves is over. Oh, the zoning. The lifesteal. Yep, yep. Yep. Not a great engage. That will give them a ton of gold. So we're going to have to pick up home guards here. Not the best engage in the world. I will be the first one to say it. But it's okay. Well, it's not super okay, but it could be worse. That's what I'm trying to say. Could have lost a face tower. We'll just lose a tower. Dang, she's starting to hit pretty hard. She's indeed starting to ravage. Damn! Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go get some lifesteal, cuz. Crap, dude. Oh, well, that was a bit late. That looks so cool, dude. Ugh, oh, so cool. Definitely a bit of a late requiem on my part. I, I should have been paying attention to the map more. And now it's gonna be on cooldown again, so that wasn't really worth it. Still no real great requiem so far, but we are 6 and 5, so. Excuse me, sorry. Every time I've died, I've at least taken someone with me to the, to the grave. And I guess I did kind of Karthus' job, given his whole new uh, new feel and look is taking everyone to the grave with him. So, uh, I'm doing my job as new Karthus. I am doing my job. Well, uh, four top, so four top. Let the team know what up. I can't really comfortably go for the Baron. Oh, I dodged the shockwave, but I'm still probably going to die. Oh, maybe not. Oh, why would you point? Oh, God. Oh, no. Walls on cooldown. Walls on cooldown. Awkward, 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 awkward. Attack him. Attack him. Yep. Quadra. <sighs> well, that's my fault for getting caught. Is that gonna be GG? I hope not. It very well could be. Holy crap. Uh, well, we're 6-6-6 six, six, and six on Karthus, so that makes a lot of sense. For multiple reasons. We'll get the slow off at least, but uh, she's just going to peace out Girl Scout, so won't be able to really effectively catch her as much as I would like to. I don't think they're going to Baron off that. Oh, how I want to catch this MF. She's being so greedy. She's being so, so greedy. But she's on to my master plan. I really why aren't you coming? Ah! I really uh Oh my good okay, alright, alright. She actually got a solo kill because it took so long. That's funny. Alright, well we should probably go for that. Because if Warwick ults on me, I'll just try and zone it before he gets in range to ult. Or rather, if he's if he if he comes close and I see blood scent, I will try to ult. And uh, I can't English. I will try to zonias before Warwick can kill me. Okay, we properly English this time. Because English is hard apparently. All right. Well. Oh no. 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 God damn it. Might as well just do it, why not? 
All right, you know what? Let's pick up a hex tech. I've decided that we do need to have some life steal here because we're just spell vamp, not life steal. Uh, English guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, I I just I can't I can't English apparently, but I can still kill people and have an even kill death ratio, so that's okay. Seven seven seven. We're not super lucky. We're totally gonna just instantly ace them and everything is gonna be fine. So that's a okay. Oh goodness, English is hard. Okay, so, uh, building this into a Seraphs might be a good idea. Alternative options. Uh, getting Will of the Ancients, not super useful for this team. They need to peace out. I don't know why they're overstaying. Um, defensive item like Guardian Angel, feasible, but not necessarily worth the money. It's pretty, uh, big investment overall. Can I get here into help in time? They're Flash Cocoon though. Can Graves follow up? All right, I'll get an assist. I'll take that. That's fine. We should go as five. I mean, they have no Oriana, so we should definitely uh, push into this here, if at all possible. Ooh, oh, on the tank now. That's awkward, but I'll take a couple shots. For the team. Oh, that's a free MF. Thank you for that. So we're going just to file to uh, kill off the creep wave right quick. I can try and kill this Nami. I am totally boned. Yup. No, we're boned. Get Q's off. Get Q's off. Okay, I helped. I helped. I got a kill. I got a kill. I got a kill. All right. Who do we have? We have Irelia and Elise versus Ori and Nami. That's fine. We can. That's doable. That's doable. Okay, so Warwick's just focusing me super hard. Not that he shouldn't be. Is there any way I can really counter that? Woda's not gonna really help me, but at the same time, Hextech is totally useless. So what does this give me? Cooldown reduction? I actually have really crappy cooldown reduction. So you know what? Well, let's go with the Woda. We can at least just buy it outright. Uh, bot tower is going to be taking some damage here. I'll be up in 15. Whether or not that's fast enough to save. Uh, actually, no, Graves is up, so. Graves should be able to save that relatively easy. And uh, at least backed as well. Uh, I really I should get us the dragon here fairly safely overall. I mean, Warwick's still dead for a while. It didn't seem like Oriana was going to shift over there. Because, I mean, or normally, you know, an Oriana wouldn't do so. Uh, she wouldn't have the mindset of going and taking dragon uh, as an AP carry. So, that's 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 fine. Oh, well, I kind of trolled myself into doing a Q there, but I, I have so much mana at this point, I'm not really concerned about it. We have 3k mana on cart this, which is more than enough uh, to get the job done. I will go for a blue, though, just for that additional cooldown reduction now. Because now, at this point in the game, uh, getting that CDR is going to be very important. So We'll go ahead and pick this up. Wall of Pain, just to take increased damage. Spam Q, spam Q, spam Q, spam Q, spam Q. Okay, there we go. I don't want to get caught by Warwick here, because that would be bad. Okay, cool, they backed off. There, we'll go ahead and get some more gold. Interesting how he says uh, that little line there about you know a bunch of voices in unison when you do defile, because it's like the souls of the deceased and stuff. Uh, very interesting overall. I love, I, well, I don't necessarily love, but I, I do enjoy and greatly appreciate the new voice acting for Karthus. So if we can pick this Ori kill quickly, it's worth it, but we don't want to get caught. Yep, and that's why. So as you can see, I specifically told Graves to move north because I didn't want him to get caught uh, by the Warwick there. Yep, nope, I'm piecing out of there, sorry, not worth it, not worth it. We gotta catch up to Elise here, if, I, if at all possible, just because I don't want to get caught. Oh, god damn it. This is bad. Oh, can I live? I can, at least for now. Okay, well, I died, but I will force a flash out of the uh, MF there and pick up a kill on her. So, kill the MF. I really is gonna. You, don't, you shouldn't have flashed away from Warwick. He's just gonna catch it. He's got blood sent on you. Nah, you're dead. Yeah, good try, but you're dead. Not much you could do there. Not your fault either. Warwick, man, hard carry. 
The hard carry Warwick for sure. I didn't kill Lisa neither. I got so close. Elise, my love, you could protect us. I would deeply appreciate it. Heart. Okay, can we sell Doran's to uh, get to... Yeah, we can. So let's go ahead and sell the Dorans here to pick up a Archangels, which should immediately turn into a Seraphs, which is going to be totally worth it. Oh, if Warwick dies here. Okay, that's huge. Let's go. Let's go. That's a free win. That's a free win, because uh, that's a full, almost a full minute of Lee and Warwick being dead. Uh, that's enormous, and I have Seraphs now, so even if, uh, for example, Misfortune were to try to 1v1 me, I would win. Flash will be off cooldown. I'll have Zonia shortly. Uh, we should definitely just go straight forward up the middle here to at least take the inhibitor because now i have seraphs and zonias uh with flash alt will be off cooldown soon uh there's really no reason for me to think that i couldn't just instantly kill uh anyway oh my god my ap ratios good lord oh new cart this is so swanky so so swanky we're going to seraphs there to avoid some tower damage and uh, we'll take this tower at least. Warwick will be up shortly, but that doesn't really matter. Go ahead and just uh, defile here. Kill off some of these creep. Okay, we'll pick up the inhibitor. Let him know Warwick is up. Gonna have to be mindful of that, obviously. Okay, well, I'm just gonna focus. I'm gonna actually just focus our carries if I can. Go ahead and zone is here. Dodge out. Alt. Oh, that's bad. Oh, Q, Q, Q. Yeah, nice. The Q bait. The Q bait. The Q bait. I'll take that. I'll take that. I got the W or the W, the double rather. So that's that's perfectly fine. And uh, now we can definitely go for our sixth item here. Um, hmm. More damage is tempting. Uh, Rylai's is also tempting because that would increase our base health overall. Make us a little bit less instantly killable by Warwick. Guardian Angel would keep me in fights longer. There's something kind of you said for that, but I think overall uh, the Rylai's makes the most sense. It's a base health increase. It gives us a slow in addition to Wall of Pain, and uh, it'll do more damage. And at this point, honestly, even if I die in fights, clearly, as you can see, I still helped out the team for the most part just through that double kill on uh, Misfortune and Warwick alone. So they're not really respecting uh, my damage as much as they should be. They're not spreading out as much as they should be and things of that nature. Alternative option would have been to Banshees. Banshees would have still been good uh, because of Warwick alt, naturally. But the real question you have to ask yourself is, with people like you know Misfortune, with Nami, with Orianna, can you really stop... All of those spells just to effectively banshees a warwick alt uh, the answer to which would be no so not gonna worry about it right this second i'm gonna turn off the file here all right well uh she'll get out of oh nope nope there's warwick right there i don't want anything to do with that not that the team is a group so uh, I don't have flash. I really don't want to be here right now. This is really risky, actually. I'll just go ahead. And, okay, they're doing. They're doing it. So. Uh, they're gonna get it. Yeah, they're gonna get it. Yep, that's bad. All right, we'll go ahead and zone these real quick. I'll die. But I do have Requiem on cooldown now, so I could take two with me. All right, that might not be the game if one of them can escape. But the question is, can they with Warwick chasing them? Uh, I don't know. Really? Oh no, Graves, don't get caught. Just run, dude. Just run. Just run. You gotta stay alive. Oh, you gotta stay alive, bro. Because if you don't, it's GG. They have no minions because of supers. That's pretty huge, but they can go for this bot tower uh, with Warwick Tank in it, and we can't really stop them. It's not worth Graves trying either. So we're going to lose an inhib. That's pretty unfortunate, but there's really not a lot we could do about it. 
I just need to try and stay alive longer in fights. I mean, I'm still taking two for one, but we're just we're losing out too much. Graves. Oh, hey, sorry, don't need caps. You need a GA blood. Not Randwins. I don't agree with the Randwins on Graves. I will say that. I don't think that was a necessary pick. Uh, nor do I really think the average play is necessary at this point. I think he just needs to go for straight uh, defense via Guardian Angel. That way, Warwick can't just instantly kill him. Well, okay, with that, I can get my last item being Rylai's Crystal Scepter. So we'll be well over 500 ability power. Uh, you know what? I actually could transition into a death cap instead. But, I don't know. I feel like that slow on Rylai's is going to be useful. It's more of a utility roll than it is straight damage. I will admit that. But at the same time, I kind of feel like we need it. At least a little bit. Oh, I want to go for this MF so bad, but it's a really bad idea. Alright, well, we'll just keep on trying to get a little CS here and there. But I'm pretty much full build, so that's good. I mean, I, I do have 15 kills, so that would explain why I'm at, at full build. See, uh, the CS is okay. I should actually probably stop CSing. I'll stop CSing at full build. So, don't want to take more than I need to. Uh, at this point, if I can just leave CS and that helps out Graves or Irelia for that matter, uh, then hey, I'm all for it. So, uh, their Baron should be wearing off Baron over soon. Don't fight. We have two members in bot lane. Don't get caught. Not right now. Not worth. Not worth. Hashtag not worth. If Elise gets caught in wolves, that's going to be a little scary. But she should be okay. Uh, overall, we do need more vision. Uh, Thresh does have sight stone. Thresh, can you ward north jungle a bit? It's high. We'll just poke this super. I don't plan on killing it though. Because again, I don't need CS. So, I'm just going to poke it a little bit. Not going to take this since I don't need it. I will go back and get an ability power potion real quick though. That is going to be worth getting uh, now that we are kind of at that you know, final countdown, if you will. So we'll pick up an ability potion and a health potion as well. So we'll be a little bit more tanky as a result. Uh, 3,000 HP, not bad. Pretty happy with that. And our ability power is well over 600. So honestly, even if I death capped, I would probably like three shot Misfortune, but I'd still die to Warwick. So it's it's kind of a toss up either way. I think the Rylai's is overall not a bad pick. Uh, if it was the perfect pick or not, I'm really not sure. And whether or not I should sub out an item is certainly a legitimate question. Like subbing out, for example, uh, Will of the Ancients in favor of a death cap may very well be worth it this late in the game. Uh, so I'll have to consider that at some point. But uh, obviously I, I can't afford to do it right now anyway. So just not even going to worry about it. So they're kind of starving us out on gold for the most part. Uh, that shouldn't really be all that surprising, but... They are doing so. I can poke Warwick pretty hard though. He did force a flash. We should engage. That's huge. I can kill Warwick real quick here. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't die. Nice, I didn't die. That's so big, that's so big. Go and alt. Oh, yes. Penta on YouTube. Penta on YouTube. Hell yeah. Congratulations, Graves, for your Penta kill. That's so baller. Congratulations, dude. Very, very awesome for Space Bull, man. That Penta. Uh, we should be able to end the game on that, honestly. So awesome. Hopefully we can end the game here. We do have a creep coming. Truth or dare. <laughs> Truth. I really doesn't need to die here. Baby, what are you doing? Uh, that could let them back into the game. I hope she realizes that. 
Like, that could actually let them back into the game. He has to finish this quick. Warwick's up in a couple seconds. Attack! Attack! Oh, thank goodness. That would be so awkward. Okay, we won. Alright, alright. GG! GG! Pentakill! Pentakill GG! Awesome. New visual card. This looks super cool. I love his new dialogue. Uh, all the moves look great. Still function amazingly well. I actually really like the new Q also, how it shows you the diameter of the Q, so you can kind of try and go for single targets, or you'll know exactly what creep you're hitting. I really enjoy that. The new Wall of Pain looks cool. You know, it's the same old Karthus move-wise, but same same satisfying effect of getting a double kill with Requiem. It just feels glorious assisting a pentakill too. So congratulations once again to Spaceball Man. Super awesome. Fun win. A uh, very challenging game from that Warwick carry. It was definitely an enjoyable experience. We had to kind of think about our item build and how to best assist the team. And overall, I just had a lot of fun. It was a really, really enjoyable game. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. And I will see you in the next video. Go play New Carthus. It's really, really satisfying. Peace out, guys.